Hello friends, this is Jagveer Singh and today we are going to learn about a pipe cut list tool for Revit. So the tool which we are going to use is Victolic. There are lots of pipe cut list tools available on internet. You can download them, you can use them but I chose Victolic because, because the pipes which we are using uh, for our plant room are Victolic and uh, this add-in just not uh, provide the uh, pipes and fittings but it also helps us to manage everything from fabrication to to purchase or like all sort of stuff so so uh, we will we will learn like how to get this uh, add-in in your Revit and how to use it how to how to get familiar with the uh, interface and what are the options which can be used uh, using this uh, software so first of all what you have to do is like it's pretty simple you go on Google and look for Victolic tool for Revit so so then you go for uh, this option so the, uh, the best part is uh, uh, it is authorized by Autodesk so it comes straight away in your uh, in your Revit as an add-in and like you can straight away start using it so if you are new then you can st simply download a free 30-day trial and you can get familiar with the software and and like uh, uh, you can find out whether it is good for you or not it is going to serve your purpose or not or once you 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 make that decision you can straight away go and buy that software so it is not very costly so if you if you go for buying that one also uh, according to the version of revit you are uh, you are going to use it the price changes so the cheapest is for 2018 uh, in 50 dollars and the costliest is the latest uh, release of revit 2021 it is 200 so so you can you can download the trial version initially and then you can decide whether you need or not so once you download then it will straight away come into your Revit whenever you will run your Revit let me show you how it comes so this is my Revit and you can see this is the add-in this is the add-in here in my Revit so when you go in add-in you can either register I haven't registered it but I'm going to register it so so the best part about is uh, it will provide you all the families of the pipe which is going to be the actual pipe of Victolic you are going to install on site and all the custom sized of your fittings flanges like all these ones for example if you select this it will give you uh, that it is a Victolic IPS all the material and all those things are available in the in the family and then if you if you select all these fittings all of them are here so for the fittings you can drop down here and you can see how many number of the fittings as a standard are there and then the walls are there ball walls strainers flanges and your isolation drops for your flex connections for the pumps and everything and different different types of pipes also uh, CPVC HDPE and one more thing is like for the procurement of those things it can create your like procurement scheduling and all those things so you can create a list of like how many numbers of flanges and all what are the manufacturer what is the model size description all those things you can you can create with parts and with the spools it is very important when you are handling large scales of like plant rooms and what it helps is like it makes your life hassle free so don't worry I will teach you how to use all these things as one project as a standard as uh, from the beginning to, to the end of the installation of that plant room so for that matter if you are interested to learn to uh, how to design a plant room using using actual project like standards and cut list and fabrication and installations and till handover please subscribe to my channel i i am making this series this is my third video of that series if you haven't watched my previous two videos you can watch uh, i will provide those uh, links in my description and uh, i'm making a full series 
so please subscribe to my channel and keep your notification on so that i can when i upload my video you get notified and the second thing which i want to request is you like please like my videos because if you do not like my videos i will not be able to reach more people because when somebody likes the video it helps me to reach more people using uh, youtube algorithms so please like this video and the second uh, the third thing is like if you want to learn revit mep uh, at a professional level from me then you can uh, write to me on m o n i m a l i k n 73 at gmail dot com uh, and i will come back to you and uh, we can i can give you a one on one training uh, online and i can teach you all the basics all the advanced level of revit so now let's go back to the uh, to the software so it will uh, so how it it helps you uh there is this pipe tool it, in this pipe tool you can create tags for each by for example i have to i have to uh make spool drawing for this particular uh spool of pipe so what it will do is like you can create custom tag what this particular pipe will be you can create a victolic tag here so so in this you create you can create a victolic mark so this will be termed as like p01020304 05 like this so we what we will do in the drawing we will mark it as like p01234567 up to whatever the number is and then there will be a table automatically created by victolic on your side of the drawing and in which it will be uh, it will be telling what p01 determines what is the material what is the size and what is the length and have we ordered it or not what is the cost what, so so many things we can control i will teach you how to use that so that can be controlled by pipe tools giving the numbering like this p010203 and then this like if you want to model or rotate any any um, modification in your uh, in your pipe then you can do it resize level and you can also create the rack for example there is a stack of four pipes uh, running one over each so you, then you can also provide the uh, hanger support of uni start or whatever that type of you want to use so there are different different uh, options available related to this pipe you can customize your tagging as well then you can create an assembly assembly is like like creating an assembly of pipes and fittings in one spool so you can create that assembly you can manage and create views that means a drawing part uh, like construction drawing then automatically you can also do that then you can manipulate with your combining assemblies and splitting them into two then victolic dock is an option where you can uh, manipulate many Uh, many drawings in one click like you have to produce 10 drawings you first define all the views and everything and then you can uh, using victolic to tool you can um, like create number of uh, uh, sheets in one go i will teach you how to do that and now if you want to download all these families uh, which are which are standardized in victolic then you can go in project maintenance and in project maintenance you can go for project maintenance here and then it will tell you all the templates view templates pipe types you can select and you can download you can save in your system it will be now coming as family in your revit and then uh, there is transfer standard for view template architecture elevation all those things plumbing and everything it will be, uh, now all those things which are gray i already have downloaded it in my project that's why they are not longer available but if i i want to bring more than it can be downloadable so all these things comes with this adding now the utilities all the uh, unused assemblies views you can reset transfer standard viewport all the viewport of your uh, sheet uh, can be downloaded all the schedules like creating the fab spool list legends 
and title block all the rank title block according to the custom sizes annotation family so whenever you will be you will be tagging the uh, pipes or you will be detailing the drawings then these are the custom tags you do not have to make the tags so they are already available you can see for pipe fitting everything the tags are there so so it will be a standardized form so the next thing is like project maintenance then you can sequence manager you can sequence like like for example if you can you can define which spool pipe will be first fabricated so in a sequence you can define uh, for first what uh, pipe and fittings I have to order so that it can go first for the installation so you can sequence manage all those things so procurement I already told you like if you have to place order uh, to your supplier then you can using this particular bill of material bill of quantities you can procurement and you can do the procurement and then the fittings valves strainers flanges and then then there is uh, uh, then there is like something like providing the supports hangers and the supports and the fittings so this tool is completely a very very helpful very handy tool so uh, in the next video what we will be doing we will be creating our first spool drawing or cut list of one particular part and i will i will show you how to use that in our project and why it is necessary and i will show you show you the plant room uh, all inside about it so this is the end of the video so i request again you please like the video and subscribe to my channel and if you feel this is a, a very informative or it is helpful so please share it with your friends who might need it uh, in your company or in your circle so this is jagbir singh thank you uh, jai india jai bharat